I wasn't going to make this video. Didn't want to. I got to. I actually had lots of videos lined up. A lot of them I got edited. Edited and ready to, to actually publish. Oh, God. Between the balance of the ships, that was a big one for me. It was, you know, the, the pay-to-win crap going on. And at some point, you just got to step, take a step back. I just quit playing because I got sick of the, the pay-to-win. And you had like 10 people out of a 1,000 saying that, you know, you should have to buy and pay for the better ship and... That's no game you really want to play. It, it's fun for them until everybody else finally earns that ship, and then that's just no one. No one has fun then. Oh God. Anyway, yeah. To to actually get where I'm going, as you can tell, I'm really going by my script here. It's to the point now to where you you take a step back. I joined in in August 2014. It is it is April 2017, and they're still trying to hammer down the the fucking flight model. Yeah, in, in a in a it's a spaceship game, guys. It's that that's what it is. It's it's a spaceship game, and we they've been developing. Depending on who you ask, hell, it's in you know, the Kickstarter. They did some work before that, but apparently they trashed all it. And as far as we know, last I heard, they actually trashed everything they just did at the end of March. So hell, I don't know. But uh, we'll say they're developing. Let's just give them since you know since hell since I joined in August. That we're four months shy of three years. At, at what point are you making? You know, is Forza Ten? Are they going to be four years into the development of the, that that damn game? Be like, well, you know, just don't know how we want cars to actually drive. Like, fuck that. You know, Grand Theft Auto. You know, do you think they were four years in? They're like, ah, I just don't know. It's you know, how's how's it going to feel to actually drive a car? Yeah, they were tweaking it, but for God's sake, Star Citizen's still figuring out how to fucking get people to stay in the ship. And this is... God. I did a video last year about if you should... You know, what starter package you should buy. And don't. Don't. God, don't. I'm still... You know, and I'd always been a, a supporter of Star Citizen. It's, it's something that hadn't been done. It was my dream game, and I kind of fell kind of lockstep for a little while with those guys. You know, give give CIG a break. They deserve it, but shit. Like, time. Fuck off, dude. If I if that was my job, any of my jobs I've ever had in my life, if I had just jerked off that much for that long, I, forget firing. They would have dragged me in the street and shot me in the head. And it, it's my money, dude. Like, it's your money. Your, your money you put into this. That's what pisses me off the most is this isn't hasn't been earned yet. This is just hopes and dreams. And, and that pisses me off the most is, you know, Star Marine, how many fucking years was it late? And it was, you know, it was weeks, not months away. And then it comes out and it's a buggy piece of shit. And that's something else, too, that a lot of the big YouTubers that if you notice, they've got all these ships that SIG's just giving them to test. Like, all of them love it. You never hear one say, God, you see the lag? Look at what I'm playing. No. And then you got some dickheads that are, you know, you've got the fucking hackers and you've got XML cheaters that have been around since the fucking dawn of Arena Commander. And you're just I'm fucking sick of it, dude. And you still, folks, it is, it is April 8th, 2017, and we still have interactive mode mouse flight in this game what the hell who who makes you I, why it, it's been this long it's been an issue that none of us i mean you've got like how many they don't even know that you got people that have multiple accounts that don't even fucking own a package let's pretend there's a million people that own star star citizen okay out of the million that own it 5,000 play it because uh, it's so buggy and broken and un unfinished. And then you've got out of 5,000 people, 1,000 people to play, you've got like 200 guys that are using IM. Why? God, why? And then you have them, um, you've got our main, some of our main guys behind CIG. They, they did a show a few months back and they're like, man, none, none of the pips are lining up for the guns. And it, it's just, you. They literally take the Super Hornet out in IM mode 
and they put all the same guns on it, and that's how they test their game. I, it, oh, God. Why? I, I just feel like... And I don't think it's a scam. Well, a little bit of it. I think a lot of it's incompetence. I think a lot of it's having to deal with uh, Chris Roberts. Because, you know, I didn't know who made Freelancer. And I loved that game back in the day. It's still not a bad game if you haven't got it. I was a little too young for Wing Commander. But I caught, I, I sunk my teeth into Freelancer. Uh, go back and play it. It's not a bad game. But it's, when you sign up, you know it's it, it's cinematic and it's arcadey. And it's not even his game completely. They ended up. Uh, Microsoft purchased uh, as a digital anvil, I think was Chris's company at the time. And they booted his ass off and started getting shit done because he was dragging his feet again. Uh, but it's basically it, the IM mode back then with no joystick support was basically him saying it was a concept that he said could win and could, and people would love. And I, I heard, you know, the term that he's doing it again with Star Citizen. You know, it's that's it. He, you know, hit I am mode staying not because people want it, it's because Chris wants it. And I was like, no, you know, that's just God. It is. Go go back and look. It's so if you were like me and you joined, you joined because it was going to be a space simulator with Hoda support and you know, hell later they had whole jams and God just dual sticks. But it's you do that and you're just you're you're handicapping yourself you need to get um, a stupid hornet get uh, stupid gimbals and, and go im mode and that's the thing is the guys that want to play mouse that just don't like joystick that don't want to use im mode they try to use a vjoy but the vjoy isn't doesn't work in the game it's it's not shaped right it god they don't test it they I mean, that's the issue is you can understand, yeah, well, you know, they want to get the pipeline going, they want to get ships ready, so they're not waiting on just the code for the flight, and that makes sense for like a year and a half, two years, but when you're down to, you've got ships falling out of your ass, and you're charging people money for them, you know, forget that they, you're trying to get them in the game, that you're charging, they're not even in the game yet, that you don't have a game, you don't even have a flight model that works. And you stop and you're, you know, the gimbal issue, the IM, you're just, and that's the worst part about it. Games have done it. Elite Dangerous solved the gimbal thing. It's done. If you're one of them, like they, you know, I was, I looked at both games. Star Citizen seemed more interesting. People said, oh, Elite Dangerous is a grind. It's boring. Well, fuck, Star Citizen is too. And but the thing is, Elite Dangerous is a game. Yes, they charge money for the expansion packs, which I have not bought. But you're... Elite Dangerous is miles ahead. All the problems that Star Citizen's been struggling with have already been solved years ago. It works. And I... Oh, God. I'm just... I'm sick of the shills. Like, and that's the thing, is you've got some people that are rabid fans because they love the game. That's fantastic. You know, everyone has their own opinion. I'm happy you found something you enjoy that much. I really am. A little jealous, but yeah, I'm happy you found something. But then you've got these guys that are just... And I used to watch them. You've got the streamers that stream this shit every day. And it's just, they, they're they given the wrong fucking idea. Because you know, I'll watch a couple streams like, well, shit, they've made a lot of updates. This is fantastic. It runs great. I get on there and it's the same buggy, just slideshow with god-awful ping. And that, that's what pisses me off. You watch Twitch, you know, there's a Twitch streamer. And they're part of an elusive clan. And uh, the greatest pilots ever. And I actually have footage, and I thought about posting it, but he's got followers, and I'm this little shit channel no one cares about. And on my screen, he's, you know, I'm, I had wrecked a Hornet, I was flying it, he was in a Gladius, I was doing circles, you know, I was circling around him, I was nailing him, you know, just blue X's for days, and just not getting any damage on him. And he kills me, I'm like, okay, fine, cool, whatever. And, and you know, my footage is just, it's weird as fuck, but actually someone's like yeah he he put you on twitch he's doing where he was flying around killing everybody no one could touch him on his screen i'm just flying around in a fucking circle aiming off into nowhere now either two things either he's fucking with his, with the net code on his end or b the net code is just awful and that's what i think it is you play star marine it's supposed to be based and that's the thing <laughs> that makes me laugh like hell i mean they it took them this long to get two maps on crisis and it, the crisis engine and yes it's been modified and now i guess it's lumberyard they don't shit they don't know 
but it's a first person shooting engine. That's what it was designed to do. And they still just, it, it's awful. And like I said, I don't know if it's incompetence or if it really is a scam. Like they, there, there's a fine line between you, you, you know, you can't do your job, but you're trying to learn. You're trying to get it done. You know, and, and maybe you have experience, but it's just it's never been done before. And someone's got to be the guinea pig and it's got to be you. And then it gets to the point to where you're looking at this thing and you're you're staring at code. And I, I have done some code, not pretty, not much, but I have done it. It gets to the point that when you're looking at your solution, you know, ah, that's that's never going to work. I, I don't care how much I, I duct tape this. This is not going to work and you have to scrap it. If you have to do that on a crowdfunded that that's completely different than the normal business model you're using other people's money and you're telling them you can do this there's there's a few options either a come out and flat out say hey we can't do this we need to redo it we have to you know switch engines recode whatever you don't hide behind refactoring and and, and optimizations because that's uh -uh, that's not gonna work two you just flat out say guys we can't do it we're going to refund as much as we can which is no good for anybody. Or three, you you say you need help and you either outsource or you sell what you have to pay back the backers and let somebody else gobble you up and gobble what you've done up. And the issue I think we've run into is, is CIG doesn't know what they're doing. Some of them feel like they can do it, so they're still asking for money and they're still, they're still selling ships, but a lot of them know it can't be done. Because there's been kind of an exodus, as they've called it, of talent from, from CIG over the years. I think these people are looking at a ship and saying, uh, it's not going to happen. Oh, maybe they're fired, maybe they leave, but it's... And, and I can see where you can see it's a company. You know, it, it, This is a regular company, it just happened to be crowdsourced in the beginning. It still is. And they, you know, they don't have to report this to us. But like I said, it's not like... I mean, you're you're paying their paycheck before the game's out, so I, I feel like they do have. They do have. They have responsibility. They just there's no way to go around that. They have a responsibility to us, to the backers. You know, if you put money in this, I think you should have your voice heard. And the fact that some of these issues, and that's something else, is you know they've, God, they don't have a game, but they've got Spectrum, a whole. They're trying to do Discord, but they're, it's not going to be as good as Discord. They're trying to do a new forum style, which is harder to read and a headache to look at and slow to load. And they're just... It's distractions. I'm At, at this point, like I, I used to be staunch to supporter. You know, hey, this is fantastic. I, I don't... Seriously, folks, I, I'm staring down the barrel here. I'm... I don't think they can do it. I never thought I'd be able to say that. I thought it was always going to be, ah, they need more time. They, they're inexperienced. You know, it's got to get done. It's breaking new ground. I, I, just, I don't think they're competent enough. I think that they've got some really good artists there that still have issues. But I, I think they've hired the wrong type of people. They, they should have hired MM, MMO guys. They should have hired, God, flight sim guys. For crying out loud, that's the I would have started there. I would have started with coders, you know. Even if they didn't have crisis engine experience, and just as long as they'd been they'd had experience with doing large games with you know net code difficulties. Yeah, I just oh god, Roberts, why, <laughs> why, I oh god.